Hey everyone, this is Gary. I thought I would do a video today about how to blend different teas. We have, I probably have 75 different teas here. One of my favorites, one of my go-tos is Cleavers. Cleavers is an amazing herb. Does a lot for the body. For one thing, it's a, it's a driver. So every time you make a tea, you want to try to put a driver in there. It helps drive everything into the tissue. So this is a very, very important part of why we use herbs and why we make teas, tinctures, and and you can you can actually sprinkle this on a salad. You could. Uh, And of course, the best way to eat any herb, as far as I'm concerned, or to have any herb, is to pick it fresh and right from the plant, right into your mouth, chew it up. If it's too uh, fibrous, just swallow the juice, spit the pulp right back out into nature. Because what we take from nature, we have to give back to nature. So cleavers is good for, uh, it's, it's a great blood cleanser, uh, helps uh, kidneys, bladder, it's good for eczema, strength, it just strengthens the body, it's good for all cancers, and what I'm reading from right here is Dr. Morse book, okay, The Detox Miracle, if you don't have this book, get it on page 236, I believe, yep, on page 236, hopefully I get my thumb out of the way there, page 236 starts with the herbs that he recommends. I have a few that uh, he doesn't, but they're still compatible. So all these herbs in here, you can you could put them all in one mix and still drink the tea. So they're very compatible, but let's talk about the nutritional value. So we were on cleavers, and cleavers strengthens uh, connective tissue. It's good for uh, hemorrhoids, varicose veins, spider veins, prolapse conditions. So if you have a prolapse transverse colon, cleavers is great for that. And one of the things that I always do is. I don't always have cleavers in my drinks. So I always ask, and this is something that's a meditative kind of thing where you're letting the cells pick what it wants, not your mind. Most of us have too much mind and it gets in the way. So we hold this right up by our heart or you can just hold it in your hand. This is how I do it. And I ask, is this good for me? It says yes. Do you want this today? I didn't even have to finish, I already, my body already moved forward. If it doesn't want it, like, uh, well, it's going to be hard to probably find one that it doesn't want. This is uh, calendula. Let's see if I can get it up here close enough so you can see it. This is $5 an ounce, and this is the bulk rate. Is this good for me? No. Do you want this today? No. So my body's going backwards. You could do this with a muffin, or you could, you could do it with anything, anything at all. So it's not interested in calendula today, maybe later this afternoon or tomorrow, it would want this. And remember, we're speaking on a cellular level. So cleavers is going in this mix. This is red clover. This is also $5 an ounce. So, is this good for me? Yes. Should I have this today? Yes. Okay, so we have cleavers and we have red clover. Now, we could do just this one and fill up a, a tea ball with it. This is actually the whole tea ball is here. I must well show you the whole thing. There's a million of them around. And all we're going to do is fill one half. 
and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Right now we're just picking different types of herbs that my body would be interested in today. So I don't think we've read red clover. Let's see if we can find it in here. Red clover. Okay, this is right from Dr. Morse's book. And I'm just skipping over, I'm just kind of hitting the highlights. It's used in all cancers, especially leukemia. Uh, it's similar to cleavers. It's a tremendous blood purifier. Helps dissolve tumors and masses. Also great for abscesses and boils. Cleans and strengthens liver. Uh, and, and on and on it goes. So, I mean, these herbs are extremely important. Now, there's not a lot in here, but this is Skullcap. I probably have some more someplace else, but we'll just ask. Is this good for me? Yes. Do you want some today? Yes. So I may have to find my other skull cap. Let's ask, is this enough? No. So it wants a little bit more than this. But skull cap uh, strengthens brain and nerve system, or nervous system. And uh, it's good for autonomic nerve. And people like with MS or people who have it, uh, experiences with spasms, uh, cramping, convulsions. This is really good for that. It will help balance that out. Uh, insomnia, restlessness. It's also good for Parkinson's and uh, it will help to, it helps the digestive system. So those who have uh, a dizziness or get really lightheaded when they stand up too fast. This will help settle that out. So that's skull cap. And uh, let's do a little, see what nettle's telling me today. So is this good for me? Is this good for me? I'm kind of getting a no right now. Should I have some today? No. So no nettle. I think we're just going to stick with these three. Now remember, you could have these individually and fill that, or you can mix them together and have them as a tea that way. So I'm going to move the camera. Bear with me. So we're going to take a teaspoon, and this is something else that we can do too, because we always want to be asking our body on an energetic level or a cellular level. Is this enough cleavers? Yes. This is the red clover. Is this enough red clover? Yes. Is this too much? I'm kind of getting a yes. Is this enough? Yes. Is this too much? No. I'm going to put that in. And the skull cap. See if I can find some here. So I seem to be out of skull cap right now. So let's try dandelion. Is this good for me? Yes. Would you like some now? Yes. So we're going to switch to dandelion. So there will be times when you run out and and you think you have some, so we'll just switch. Is this, a, is this enough? Yes. Is this too much? No. I'm going to be trying to get it to fit in there. It's going to be the, the big issue here. No. Dandelion is an amazing herb. here a little bit. So dandelions are uh, good for gallbladder, uh, pancreatic function, 
bladder tonic cleanser. Uh, it's a great alkalizer. Improves enamel on teeth. So, then it goes on and on with the things it does. Helps build oxygen in the blood so that it's uh, bringing more oxygen to the cells. It's, it's a very powerful, very amazing herb. So we have that in here. And of course the dandelions are growing on everybody's lawn. If you want to know the best herbs for you, go look at a bottle of Roundup. Everything that's on here that's asking you to kill is actually good for you. So we're going to take this, put it in here. Going to light this back burner. The back burner. Now I let my water get to a certain temperature, and you'll hear it start to roll. In the meantime, once it once it starts to roll, that's when it's ready. It doesn't have to boil. So if we're going to do a pot this big, I know this is hard to see because it's clear, <clears throat> same size spoon, and you can ask, is this enough in here? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, that was the dandelion. Now we're going to do the red clover. And I'll let some of these mixes set overnight and have them the next day. No microwave, so you drink them cold if you let them sit overnight. Is this enough? Is this enough? I'm getting a no on that, so. Is this enough? Yes. So I got two red clover in there. And now the cleavers. This is the driver, remember. And is this enough? No. Is this enough? Would you like a little more than this? Yes. So we're going to put in. Is this enough? Yes. So there's three teaspoons in there for this particular mix. We'll fill this with water later. And then we have this little deal which I found down in uh, Florida. And you put your tea in here, close it, put it in your cup, and as it steeps, once it's done steeping, then you can hold this and push down. And what happens is this plunger goes down in here. And it wrings the tea out, which washes all the water out. So this is pretty cool. It's kind of gimmicky, but uh, it does work. I've used it quite a bit. So then there's this type of screen that you can set on top of the cup with the herbs in it. Pour your water right over the top, let it soak in there, and you're good to go. Just take it out. And any little tiny fibers or anything left in there, we, we call that. That's what we call that. We call that fiber. Always going to have a little, maybe a little bit fall out here and there, a little spillage. Just clean it up. <clears throat> now we should start hearing that tea kettle come up here in just a minute. So then we have this type. Uh, when you use a tea bag or anything, you just put it in there like so, squeeze it, squeeze the water out. And I, uh, I have like 50 to 75 different teas here all the time. Uh, this is a This is from Dr. Morris. This is an eye health tincture. And if it says to use one full dropper, from the bottom of this all the way to the top is one full dropper. So this is 
not quite half. So we would take this and just squirt it in here. And the idea is to get one full dropper. So that's about a full dropper right there. Now you can put as many of these tinctures in this cup of tea as you want. I've done as many as four or five. Okay, you hear that tea kettle start to roll? That means the water is ready. All we do is just pour it in. For those who uh, aren't crazy about the alcohol in this, by the time this steeps, like in 10, 15 minutes, almost all of that alcohol will be evaporated. So there's very, very little alcohol in that. And you would do the same in this if you wanted to. I don't know if there's enough water to fill this. So what I would do in this case is let this steep and just fill the rest of it up because I'm going to let this sit overnight. Uh, if you wanted to and you wanted to have a hot cup of tea, you could put more water in the tea kettle and just fill it up more. But it's really not not necessary because we don't, in this house, we don't care if the tea is hot or cold or what it is. So this is just a French press, usually made for coffee, and uh, we'll just let this steep, and that'll be a great cup of tea. Very, very good for the body. Remember, herbs are organ and gland specific, where fruits, berries, melons, vegetables, and vegetables are, almost said herbs, where fruits, berries, melons, and vegetables are more of a general cleanse for the body. So it's really important to have herbs, to include them in your life, to mix them properly. And let your body, let your body tell you what herbs it wants. But change them up every once in a while because it's kind of like doing exercise. If all you did was push-ups, yeah, you'd be in shape, but not as well-balanced or well-rounded as if you changed up every now and then what you were doing for exercises. So that's really important to change up your herbs, change your diet. You know, have if you're going to have fruit and you're going to do mono, well, don't do it forever. Just do it for a while and change up to give your body a variety. There is no mono in the woods. There's no mono in nature. When we get into mono, which I know that goes against many things, but when we go mono in farming, big farmer, right? 10,000 acres of the same thing. That's when the bugs come in and take over that ground. Where in nature, there's a little bit of this particular plant over here and another one over here. And there are flowers around that draw in the protectors and push out the bugs that would come in and harm those plants. And in nature, of course, they're a lot stronger. But weeds, which is what we are classified, well, these herbs are classified as weeds, especially dandelion and comfrey and and uh, plantain is another great herb. And we're not talking about the banana, we're talking about the plantain plant. It's good for first, second, third, and fourth degree burns, especially when it's mixed with aloe. It's also good if you cut yourself and you take a couple of leaves and chew them up and put them on here like a band-aid. Within 10 or 15 minutes, all the pain will be gone, the bleeding will stop. You'll hardly ever know that you got cut. It's also good if it's for snake bites, but hopefully there's some around you can find or you're carrying some with you that you can chew up and put on there and it'll draw the poison out of the out of the bite. Uh, it's that's also good for purifying blood and just it's a great herb. It's growing all over the world, right outside your door for free. 
So all you do is pick it and eat it. Uh, that can get a little pulpy, so that's what I do. I swallow the juice, spit the pulp back out into nature. You can dry it and make tea out of it during the winter. So there are so many unbelievable herbs for your body, and you don't have to know all 5,000. If you know 20 good herbs, you can help almost anybody help their body heal itself with these herbs. Here is to a great cup of tea that is amazing for my body. And I ask myself every day, what did I do today in this moment to help my body heal itself? This is one of those things that is amazing for you. So, delicious. And you can put uh, like real maple syrup or stevia or something if you need to sweeten it. But as time goes by, you'll find that you need less and less sugar because your body is balancing itself out. So I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you do end up cheating, cheat wisely and get right back on the program. That's what we all have to do. We all do it and uh, that's all we have to do is get right back to it and start alkalizing with proper hydration, fruits, berries, melons, vegetables, and herbs. Till next time, I will see you in the next video.